Hey guys, so this time I bring you this uh, Not Passport, Not Passport Express and MongoDB application. It's a little application with only three routes that has the register login and another route that is users profile. Okay, you can see that since Molter is checking, Molter no. <laughs> And also I'm using Molter to manage file uploads, but um, Passport is checking the changes so you cannot go into the, the profile route if you are not verified or authenticated. So let's check register, just a simple form, let's say Aldo Cava. Um, email, my email, why not? Passport, passport, <laughs> password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Avatar, okay, let's click this one and um, let's click register. So it redirects me to this user's profile. Okay, now I have this uh, dashboard and logout on the navigation. So I can, I should be able to, yeah, come back here, but now I can click dashboard and redirect me to user profile. You know, this is just a simple application to show you how to um, work with the local um, strategy that uses a username and password or email and password, I can remember. So this, this is it. The local authentication strategy authenticates users using a username and password. Okay, so it be, it is um, yeah. You need to specify the local strategy. Okay, on the authenticate. So we'll see that. Um, let's refresh. And let's see that now we have a user. That this user is a, my user, Aldo Cava. The name of the avatar. The password that is being hashed or encrypted. My email. And the ID that Mongo creates. Let's go back. Let's check sessions. And this session. Okay, it has an ID and has the cookie with the max age, the expiration date, the user, and the ID. Okay, HTTP only true with the path, and that's it. So, how this thing is working, let me go back here, okay, to this page. So let's see, first of all, okay, I'm making the console of what is going on. So let me see what it, so this is the session, this is the cookie. Okay, so we will take a look at that so let's see first of all let's go to to the index and let's take it from there so what I'm doing I forgot to show you a package suggestion what I'm using I'm using dot env that allows to uh, create environment variables I'm using connect mongo body parser bcrypt express express sessions Mungus, Molter, Passport, Passport Local, and Pook. Okay. So let's forget about that. Of course, as always, you will have the repo. Um, so, first of all, in order to use the .env, you need to require it before anything else. Okay. I'm not using the model here, so I'm just going to comment that out. So you should be familiar with this. You need to require Express to create Express app. And you need body parser, the path, because we are going to delete 
I think this is the place or not. No, because I'm using the public, although I'm not using the path. Yeah, I'm using path join to check the views. And because I'm using the view engine that is going to be book. Okay. So we need to set the view engine into that. So let's forget about that a little uh, for a second. <clears throat> and I'm getting my connection. Okay. So let's stop here and go inside my connection. Okay. It's inside this folder, connection, connection, yes. I'm just exporting, model export the connection from MongoDB. This is the thing that allows the that M allow us to use. So I have an environment file here. I'm not going to show you that because uh, those are my credentials. You already saw my username, but the thing here is my password. So you create this DB user inside your environment. Let me show you Node.js dot m so you can see Okay, uh, it's a zero dependency model that loads the environment variable from that from a that m file into the process that m. So you just install it with npm install. This is what you create on your that m file, and you just um, add inside your index or your root this uh, required that m that config. And you will be able to get everything inside your .m. So that's why I'm able to use this process.m that db user and this process.m that db password. So that's my connection. Okay, this is the, the URL. That is um, this one. Okay. So um let me close this one okay let me keep this one open and let's go back here so that's the connection let's go back to the index so where we have this we have a routes if you're familiar with not um i have a little little tutorial about not and express so if you want you can check that to see how I am getting the routes but I'm just requiring the routes inside or the files inside these routes in let me see okay <laughs> this one okay so I'm just getting the files inside this routes directory the profile the login the logout and the registration and I'm just requiring them here Okay, so um, in this case, we need to have a specific um, order. So, because passport uh, requires a specific order, and the routes require to be on a on a specific order. Okay, so that's why I'm getting the routes here. I'm getting my uh, I'm using Mungus, so I need to require that. I'm not using the model here, so I don't need that. So this is the Mungus Connect. You should you should be familiar with this. So Mungus Connect is going to uh, create a connection with this use new uh, URL parser that is in the in the latest version. So then we will have this uh, connection, even though um, I mean, if this returns true then the connection is established if not we catch the error and console log that error that's the only thing so i should be consoling that a request session blah, 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 incoming message so this is the cookie um, Raw headers. So yeah, I'm counseling a lot. So ah, okay, you will you will see that. I already have some Node.js um, core reviews here, so 
you should be familiar with using Node.js with uh, Mongoose or MongoDB. So you should be familiar with this. This is just creating the connection. So that's it. We need session. Okay, we need the express session. Let's go back here. Roll express session to manage the session um, because okay um, create a session middleware with the given options because passport even I think I have the yeah, yeah. Um, this is just the requires using Mongo store that I will show you why you need Mongo store later although it's not a requirement for this specific um, application but for something like a shopping cart is required so I already added that here so you can see um, what it needs so this um, this Mongo store requires a session and we need the session that is being created by Express so um, we need to pass that this is a function and after that we come to to this passport and the local strategy so in order to use uh, well, well we require the passport uh, module right now this is just the static um, assets checking the public this is just the engine checking the engine to be able to use these book files uh, you will see that a little later is inside these routes how to render these views this is just the configuration body parser so we need to since we need to parse the incoming requests so here is the thing the express sessions express sessions popular cookie that will help passport to keep track of the user okay also when we use Mongo Connect, uh, we need to add a store, and the store can be used to add information about the user in the session. Okay, so you will see that um, later. So this is um, where we used Express Sessions. Okay, so this is Express Session. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's this one. We create this secret, or we add this secret. Um, this should be also on the end. So, well, forgot to add it. Um, these are just uh, options. I can't remember what they do. So this is the store. We need to add into the session this new Mongo store and uh, pass the new to be used the new um, not the new to be reused the connection that that we already have that is this Mongo's connection. Okay, so it doesn't open other connections. We reuse the connection we have, and uh, the interval you can add the interval to be removed. Um, as you want and this is the cookie we need the max age in order to have the cookie to be um, you know removed or deleted um, I think this one is three days I forgot about that so I'm not good at math so um, the cookie secure will only work in production so that's why I added this, or um, that's why um, so that it only works in production. I cannot add the secure option here because it will break the code. So I'm just checking uh, to see if the environment is in production. I'm setting the the secure cookie um, to be true. Now, this is the. Um, where we require an initialized passport and the session so remember that uh, passport uses express to manage the session the user so 
Um, these are just functions that Passport uses to initialize and to create a session. And this is the file that manages the configuration. So this is the, the Passport config file that is inside the Passport config. So let's check Passport config. Okay. And I'm not using Mungus here. Mungus per se, I'm not using it. I'm just using, well, I should be using that. Well, so record passport. Let me even break this. Let's see if it's been. Um, let me log out. Let me log in. I think it was username and one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Okay. So um, we record the models. We record passport. The models uh, for the user are in some models user. Just a simple Mungus scheme or a schema. Okay. With the ID, the username, the email, the password, and the avatar. And the avatar. This is going to match, of course, what we have here inside the users. Of course, because that will be used in order um, to create this uh, file. So add whatever you want here. And we export the model with the schema that this um, is this thing. So um, we use the local strategy that uses um, username and password. And we require bcrypt in order to hash or encrypt the, the password. Okay, so we use the local um, strategy password that use, new local strategy. I'm just checking here. Um, you will need to pass this done, okay? This done is needed. And let me check. This is not, um, okay. Um, accept these credentials and calls are done provided the user. The local authentication strategy authenticates users using user and my password. The strategy requires a verified callback and then in response with this done or passes the done, there is a function that will return the user. So we check if the user is being passed in console log, we are going to console that and uh, we will check inside the this is the login okay we will check inside the the okay so after i uh, logged in is checking the username and the password okay i'm just checking that i was constantly that in order to pass not to see if I was getting something. Now we use this just to that find where the username equals to the username I'm uh, retrieving from the form. Okay, the form is this login. So this this is book. Okay, the action is going to users login. That is going to check and run this code. Okay. Um, okay, let me show you that. Login. So it's going to this user login. Or is, is um, the action is going to do the user login with the post method. This is just the form, the label. Uh, I mean, uh, this um, username and password are the name, the names. Let me log out. Let me log in. So this is the form. Nothing special here. Um, login. Okay. So it's um, checking. The, this is the post. 
this is just rendering the login. When we use Pook or another um, template engine, we will call this response that render and the name of the file we have here. This is login. Okay, so we pass login without the that book extension on the get. So whenever someone's someone's fuck and someone goes to this um, URL, they will render this login that is the form. Okay, so uh, we check the authentication. So we need to pass inside this post the passport that authenticate. We need to verify or not to verify, to say that this is the local strategy and on, su on success okay, we're going to redirect the user to the profile we're going to allow access to the profile if not then we're going to redirect the user to the login again so in case I um, I don't know just add something this shouldn't break. I can't remember if I tested this, but that's the idea. Oh, can I remember the passport? Passport, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Password of undefined. Uh, can I remember the passport? Passport, what the fuck is going on? Password of undefined. Um, mm -hmm. Let me go back. Um, no, it's on the config. Um, okay. Because I'm just running this as it is. So let's say if. Um, no, no, no. If user um, because follow the user and we move on. Let's say else console and rock um, user um, not well, user doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Let's say, and let's see if that works. Okay, connection established. Refresh, continue. Let's see, let's see. No, it's using the other one. So, let's log in. Local. Or something else because we were we were testing something else. Can I repeat the password of undefined? Uh, what and what if I do this? Okay, it's not working in this case. It's being redirected because I'm using the correct um, the correct password. Okay, so the thing is that in this case, I'm checking right away if the username. Okay, this should be um let me let me do something first let me just um do this why okay <clears throat> and let's see I'm just checking. Okay, so I can give you the idea of what is going on. So whatever. 
and it's going to okay <clears throat> receiving that so okay because the user is not um, they shouldn't return okay let me remove this and um, let me see, let me see. But it's not, it's not even consoling. Um, okay, okay. So it's consoling this. So let me then remove this. Nope. I want to see something because that's the problem that is checking right away. Okay, uh, cannot type, cannot read, uh, passport 29, 29, line 29, ah, okay, 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 so this is the problem, is it consulting the user? No, because the user doesn't exist, right? Let me go back. Oh, but here is going to make the test, and yeah, it's going to redirect. Yeah. So the thing that is going on is that it's checking for this user to have a password, but it doesn't. Okay. So that's the problem there, because the user doesn't exist in the database. Okay. So it's reading this. It's getting um. So yeah, we will need to check um, um, wait a second, let me go back to where I was before, um, okay, so this is the code. As it was before, well, not before, let me move this and this one, okay. So, we're gonna do something. Um, if user that, um, the user is going to be, what is going to be the user? Console look user. Let me check what is returning. It's, return, it's returning an array, maybe. Okay, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm recording, but you might want to see what the fuck is going on. So, okay, it's just I'm consoling that. I'm not getting anything here because this is the console that is uh, everything um, inside Mongo is going to be console here. So I don't know why I try to open that. So let's say um, user so I can see if this is what is being console. Okay, it's uh, returning an empty array. So, 
What could we do to catch that empty array? So let's say um, if user um, that length um, is less to zero. Let's say uh, console.log user doesn't exist. Exit, not exist. So let's see, let's refresh. Yep. Can I read property password? Well, I'm, I'm not doing something. I shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm trying to make it fast and I'm not seeing um, the obvious. Maybe you can you wait. Maybe. Maybe if I do this. The catch is um, inside. Right? If else, um, I should install the freaking okay because that's it. Let's see, let's see. I was trying to move the code to know that. Okay, let me go back. Let me go to login and do this. Okay, so I'm getting the same error. Okay, as you can see. Uh, you should find where equals, then is the problem line 28. That is this one. So it's not checking anything. Okay, I'll fix that later. Because this is the thing. Um, You sir, uh, should I be able to? No, I'll check that later. So that's the thing, it's not working because it's checking the, um, the object. So you should be able to fix this pretty fast. I'm just concerned about all the length of the video so I'm trying to do it fast but I'm not seeing the obvious it should be pretty simple to to get so let's go back to use not to users to the app so I will fix that before I um, upload the so the thing is if I do this with my username and type whatever else okay, I'm going to be redirected to this uh, login once I do this, I look at one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the password. And I log in, I'm getting redirected. Okay. So the problem is here. Okay. And here's the problem. So there's still plenty of code to show you. So I already spent like 10 minutes trying to fix that. So, um, console in the password and the hash. So, okay, let's keep, let's keep working. So, BigCrypt is going to compare, since we already have a user in the database, and we already find, uh, we have found the user. So, it's going to, to compare the user password with the user, with the password hash, 
The user password is the password we are getting from the form, and the password hash is the hash that sh is the password inside. And I can see what is going on. Okay, so it's the password that is inside this user. Okay, but since we are typing something else, we are not getting the user, and there's nothing else. To uh, there's nothing to compare, so that's why it gets that error. So we'll fix that later. Um, we get this, uh, we pass this error and response. If the response is true, meaning bcrypt uh, response um, that in the comparison both are the same, so um, it's going to give us this user ID. And we can access that using request that user that user ID. Um, okay, so we return this done function. We don't pass anything here, and we pass the object that is going to be added into the cookie. That is this user ID with um, the user we are getting from Mongo and the ID. In this case, I'm using the ID. You can use uh, the name or whatever you want, but in case in this case I'm using the the ID from the object, and else just consoling the error that is what it was happening, and uh, returning done with false, done with null and false to show that the user is not being authenticated, and that's it. Now I was getting this catch. So let's go to serialize um, because um, let's say passport serialize user uh, Of a functional service and user is a good explanation. Ah, it tells us, um, tells us, well, well, let's see. Seria, I forgot what the hell it was, but okay, let's see. Um, Okay, so the function tells password how to get information from a user object in the store or store in your session. Yeah, how to make that information and turn it back to the user. So what it's going to use is going to use this user ID in order to send into the cookie or into the, the session, the password session, this user ID that I'm passing here. Okay, so this is what I'm using to serialize the user um, and deserialize it. But I, will, I should be able to get it. Um, but I provide just general. This is, this is general authenticate. Let me check. Okay. Um, in a typical web application, the credentials used to authenticate a user will only be transmitted during the login request. If authentication succeeds, a session will be established and maintained via cookie. Okay, so each subsequent request will not contain credentials, but rather a unique cookie that identifies the session. In order to support login session uh, sessions. Passport will serialize and deserialize the user instance and from the session. So these are the two functions. So it's using the cookie and it's not passing the information again. Okay. So in this passport serialized user, I'm passing the user ID and done. I'm, I'm calling done with the user ID that I already have inside the session. And this is the same with the serialized user. Okay. Um, so, 
I will fix this and then upload the the repo. So this is the configuration. Okay, let's go back. Um, okay, so we come into the um, we reach the global properties for the users that allow us to show or hide settings based on whether the user is authenticated or not. Okay, so we use this response locals is authenticated to this is authenticated that is coming from passport. Okay, why we need that? Let's go to the layout because here we can check if it's authenticated there is a global uh, variable okay that is this one is authenticated so if it's authenticated we're going to show if it's not authenticated we're going to show register and login else okay we're going to show the dashboard and log out so that allows us to change this so let's log out to see the changes here, okay, and of course, since we're using Mongo, uh, Mongo's Connect, we also are adding this session in which we can store user information um, of whatever we want, okay, and also using the the uh, routes. I'm using the routes all the way down here okay and they listen okay so the rows are being defined all the way up here before anything else so uh, let's see so let's go to register because this is using i had the serialized user here but i don't need it anymore so it's inside the configuration the config file for the local uh, strategy. So let's try to speed this a little. Um, okay, this is using Multer, Mongos, and in the connection, because uh, we need Mongos to, to get that, and we need to check the user, or add the user. This is the registration. I haven't showed you the registration. I just showed you the login. It's just using the local strategy to see this is calling so you don't get um this is calling this function okay the login is calling this strategy the local strategy okay so you don't get uh, confused and the registration is just um getting the form Username, email, and password, and the avatar. Checking if the connection is established, if we have a connection. And we're using Multer, so we need to upload. I mean, we need to use this upload um, function. Let's go to Multer, because I know you want. Um, this is a usual Multer um, file. A config without any um, limitation or any filter so it's going to check this avatar um, input okay and it's going to store everything inside public avatars the name is going to be the field name plus the date and the name of the original file so if we go to public okay this is uh, the public okay this is the multer the node.js passport so we go inside public and we create we need to create this avatars um, directory okay inside this avatar is going to be created this avatar dash the date and um, the name of the original file okay so let's um, close that so this is a multi file you can add several um, files 
to manage several folders, implementations. Um, for example, if you want to add another um, avatar or another image, you just need to create another configuration and to change when you want or where you want to pass that. The filters, I will show you later the filters and not in this one, I will create another passport with the with Google authentication and I will show you the filters there. So so let's keep moving. So this is the config where so that and the registration. I'm going to use this upload and pass the request response and the error just consider the request because yeah why not I'm checking if the email and the password are not empty if there are I'm going to render registration again I'm just sending uh, an error else if everything is correct but the image um, throws an error I'm going to also re-render the registration and then um, with just an error. Else, this else means that everything went right. I'm going to create using the request uh, information, username, email, password, and file name. This file name is only available with uh, Multer. Okay. So you need Molter to get this request as file, that file name. That is the name of the file we are adding using this. Okay. So now we need to hash the password with the number of, of process we want to um, hash it. In this case, is 10. Where am I? Okay. So we use this um, bcrypt hash sync, the password that we're getting here, and the number of rounds that we want the encryption to, to do. Then we create a new user um, to add it to MongoDB with the information we have. Okay. At this moment, the image is already inside the folder. Okay, so um, we just need to save the user. So um, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. In this case, I forgot to add the deletion of the file because, because if this occurs, you will need to delete the file because the file will be uh, inside the, the folder. Okay, but the changes will not be in MongoDB. So you will have the file but not the the user okay so i forgot to add that you should delete the file here delete the file here <clears throat> if anything else fails so yeah um, I think I have. Okay, I will. I will check that later. So I was just worrying about passport. Passport. So I didn't uh, add anything else. It was just a simple demo. So we check the user. Sorry for the user and login. I lock lock him in. We, cons we made the console of user ID. So we here we find the user. 
using the ID and um, we log in the user and we redirect it or we redirect him into the user's profile. So the user is being logged in uh, after being registered or registered. So I'm constantly in the session there. So let me see. I don't know, uh, let's say someone, someone at some that one password one, two, three, four, five, six. I already have something there. Okay, so you see it's been redirected, and let's see what it retrieves. So all this is a session, it seems. The cookie, aborted false, headers, it's a lot. Um, this is not it. Incoming message, can I just, okay, so this is all. That is being um, consoled by the session. And here we have the cookie, the request session passport with the cookie, the username is someone, and that is being changed. Let me go back here. I already have two users. It's going to change the session. To be someone in this case if I come back here and log out and say uh, login login and come back here and refresh okay it's reusing what we have and it's just changing okay the cookie so, um, I wanted to show you something else. Oh, this is a little complicated. Um, and maybe, maybe I will make a tutorial with all the steps. Maybe, but I'm not sure. But if you already know a little bit about Node.js and Passport, you should be able to make this work with whatever thing you want. So the logout is just uh, using this request logout that is coming from passport and redirecting to the main um, um, page to the main page that is just this one the register. Uh, so yeah, two things that were missing or that are missing are here we need to delete the file. Let me see how you would do that. Node.js delete uh, file was with um, unlink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will need to use unlink to delete the file. So how would that work um okay that's why i had file system delete the file asynchronously using unlink function that you should be using unlink sync i think that's the best thing to do and you will use this file system that unlink that the wherever the file is and Okay, uh, the callback. So yeah, request the file here using um, on link sync, and that's it. Even let me even show you. Okay, Fifty four minutes. Well. Um, I got a Node.js, a Mongo here, and let me 
show you um come on not mm -mm -mm. it's not my SQL um routes Delete post. Registration. Do I have it here? This is using my SQL, okay? Okay. So create the query um, and user. For this, um, we're using, I was using SQL with SQL and passing all the info and here is the thing check for errors if there is an error if somehow the email was loaded look for it and delete it okay that will happen if in this case something goes wrong here saving the file because at this point when we reach this else the image is already inside this um, directory okay that will happen because um, multer will not check anything else if the if multer can upload the image into the, the system it will do it and will forget about it okay so it's our job to check so we will check this in this case will would be um Let's go to Molter because here we have it, public avatars and the name that you will use this um, file name Lol. this request file file name and use this file system on link the file path and you will check and that will be it Okay, so it's simple as that. So maybe we'll add it. I don't know. It's pretty simple. So what I, what I want to fix is this. Where is it? Oh, it's inside the config. I want to fix this because this should be um, this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so so yeah, I will fix this and I will upload it, um, and you can add the on link. Okay, so you will have this repo. So. I think that's it with passport. It has its things. Um, oh, I forgot something, something very important. Let's go to profile. Profile is the, um, as you can see, here is the function. In case, well, in case, uh, okay, I'm not logged in. So let's go to users profile. I'm being redirected to users login. So what is going on there? This is going on. The out middleware that is checking before anything uh, happens. Well, I didn't even, okay, I will show you this also. Fuck, I was forgetting about the important, well, yeah, the important things. Everything is important, but, but um, so let's first tackle this, that this function is down here. We're going to check um, if it's authenticated, passport will return that. If it's authenticated, we will return next. So we can move on from here to here. 
Okay. And that's it. So why this is committed out here? Because as I said, it's an, a middleware. We don't need that here. So it's inside the middleware um, directory, out.js. And we are exporting, it's the same function, we're exporting this out middleware, that is the name of this constant. And uh, we are adding the middleware inside here. And that's it. So once the user um, is authenticated, we will have this user um, underscore ID. And store inside a user object, store the current user. So we will we will need to check this. Let's uh, let passport ID to be request user the user ID, or if the user has the session request session passport user. One is coming from the login, and one is coming from the registration. Okay, or I think this one is coming from the login and this one is coming from the from the registration. So um, query the user using the ID which matches the ID inside the database. That's why I'm using the ID here in the config. I'm using the ID, the underscore ID that if you're already familiar with Mongo, this is not it. Is using this ID okay so that's the reason why I'm using the ID because I can just get a whatever is in passport using this request user ID and it's going to match the ID that I have on the database and then I can show the user information And you will see um, what we have here is the request. Okay, in case there's an error, we console that. Is the request uh, inside this else? We have the request session, and we pass user, and we uh, we are passing the user user. I'm consoling the request session. Let's see that. And this is on the login. Aldo E one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So um passport user user ID uh request session passport that's just the passport session um, pum, pum, pum. Oh, well um let me add this and um, session so i can just log out and um, login again one, two, three, four, five, six. Lol. Login. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is the session. And we're getting the user. So what is this session? This session is... Um... Where is it? This session. Okay, so we are accessing this request session that is being created by a Mongo Store using the session inside an Express session. So we should be able to. Um, where the hell was that thing? So let me close this. So here's the link of the, if you want to delete the image, so I will bring you that. 
So what was looking for? I forgot. Oh no no, F12. Um, application. Session storage. No, uh, no session storage. I think it's in, on index. What is this thing? Hmm? No, it's in cookies. So this is the cookie we are getting. And but I wanted to show you. I think it was. No, no, I'm not using local storage or session storage. No, it's not being stored on. Okay, so why I'm using um, this Mongo store? Okay, tu -tu -tu. Let's go to Mongo store. Mm. Mongodb database. Mm. For example, we are adding into the session, the global session, the user. Why? Only because we can add the user, but picture that. Um, you are doing or you are trying to build a shopping cart so what you would do is this require session require a um, request session that is the express session and we can add that I don't know items and inside that add an array of objects with the item that is being added um, item selected and I don't know description. So let's see description. And let's close this. Let's see. So let's go back. Let's log out. Let's close this. Let's log in. Let's say um. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it should be consoling. Okay. You can see that now we have these items array with the item selected and description. So every time with this, you can now add into the session whatever you want. Okay. So as I was saying, if you are um, adding or trying to build a shopping cart and you want to have all that in the session whenever the user selects an item to add it um, into the session you will just need to use this request session item and to add the cart item or the cart object into your um, this would be I don't know cart no? So now, globally, you will be able to access this card using the session anywhere in your code, anywhere in the application. Okay, so this is what um, why we have this um, Mongo Connect or this Mongo Store that is creating this store. That we can reuse and we can add whatever we want okay so i think that's it um there's yeah quite a lot into passport um i try to explain the best as i could only the passport uh, things also try to 
add everything inside their own directories. So let's say profile um, to see how the profile is being built with PUC. Um, nothing else. This is how you manage the inner um, um, this is a strong tag, the inner tag, and this is how you manage the interpolation. And that's it. I added multer, show you the schema. I added the middleware, and I show you the connection and the config that even though it has an error, it's working as it as it should be, but with a little error that is checking um, a user that doesn't exist, in case you want something else, it's checking a user that doesn't exist and is returning an error. But if you add the user, where the hell is that? Okay. As I said, if you add the user, um, so this is the thing. If you are the correct user that is inside the database, um, everything will work. It will be redirected if the password is not uh, set. And um, yeah, it will work. So I'll fix that and I will upload the repo. I will share you the link. Um yeah, let's see the uh, so you can see the session how it ended. So it's using the cookie at the date expires um okay. I can't remember how is much time. I can. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, okay, so fuck that. So um, the thing is that I will fix that and I will upload it. And yeah. So check this repo. It's inside my repos. The not my SQL. If you want to make it work with my SQL, you can download this and make it work. It's using Multer and it's using two um, directories to add images. These uploads and the avatars. And let me show you the index because, as I said, it's using my SQL. So it's using the local strategy too. Um, no package package that JSON. Um, using my SQL as the driver. Okay, that's the only difference. And this one is not using the. It's not using the. Oh hell the Mongo session. There's also a session for MySQL. So you can try that. So okay, we'll leave that here. We'll leave it here. So um any doubts just comment it out. Um just I don't know uh, comment your doubt and um, anything you want to ask I will show you the repo once I correct the mistake I made with the login and that will be it so see you on the next one